Hey guys, what's up? This is Bri. Happy Wednesday morning. I've been busy. Let's start with our Aura score, then we'll talk about the uh, three amazing books I just did Philosopher's Notes TVs on. So it's currently 9.37. I got up way too early this morning. 4.11. We're going to talk about some needs work data. The readiness is good, it says, but it's time for more sleep. I agree with that completely. Last night, I got just over six hours of sleep. I'm going to talk to you about what needs work on that. One, two, three. It. Um, we'll go straight there, and then I'll talk about I've had a pretty productive morning, all things considered. So time for more sleep. I agree with that. Uh, readiness overall is good. Again, the heart rate, heart rate variability, this Nano V thing, and the uh, PEMF machine are just driving some ridiculous numbers. But my previous night's sleep was terrible, <laughs> uh, which we'll look at now, and then we'll talk about why and what I'm going to do about it. So last night I was in bed for seven hours and 33 minutes. I got six hours and seven minutes of sleep, 81% efficiency, which is below the 85% cutoff where I want to be. Resting heart rate is as legit as it's going to get. Um, but here's the deal. Total sleep, totally not enough for me, for anyone particularly me. Um, I got a great amount of deep, deep sleep, which is great. So my body's recovering, but I didn't get enough REM sleep because I got up and was just wired because I've been hammering it. So one, two, three, what's working? I am. <laughs> I'm working really hard right now. I'm doing all my normal stuff at a higher level than ever. And I've been really engaged with the business. So my oscillation has been nowhere near what it usually is, right? Rather than a pure break, um, I'm online a lot more. I've got a lot more inputs and it's, it's good. I don't actually don't have a problem with it at all. I see this as just a wonderful little data point. It's a reverse indicator. I'm, I'm going hard. I'm pushing and it is in fact time for more sleep and I'm okay with that because I don't need to be perfect. So I was actually excited about getting this data so we can have a good chat about it because I know I'm never gonna get to a place where I'm statically balanced. There's no such thing as static equilibrium, where it's just perfect, I'm balanced, everything's perfect. And if that is the case, and again, I playfully say, the only time you will be completely statically balanced is when you're six feet underground. In the meantime, if you are, then perhaps something's wrong, you're not pushing yourself enough, you're not challenging yourself. Now we wanna find a dynamic groundedness, obviously, but the process will always be dynamic. So Osho's tightrope walker comes to mind. He says you're never, a tightrope walker is never perfectly balanced. They're a little bit too far this way, then a little bit too far that way, then this way, then that way. They're always recalibrating dynamically. That's how life is supposed to be, particularly when you're willing to go after things that are important to you, energy, work, and love-wise. So there's actually a book um, by Matthew Kelly called Off Balance, which is basically this theme. So anyway, What's working? I am. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. We've done some great things um, with the business strategically and where we're heading through Coach Class 3 and beyond. Really excited about it. Really proud of where our team is and how they're showing up. And the fact that I showed up and I kind of inject myself, you know, on whatever basis and get some soul force, some strategic vision, et cetera, then let the team go crush it. So that's what I've been doing. That's awesome. I'm going to celebrate that first. Before I go to what needs work, I'm going to celebrate what is working. Then I'm going to go to, well, what needs work? Well, I need to oscillate. This is how I would always draw oscillating. I'm on and I'm off, only I haven't been. I've been more like this. Now, I still do my walks. I've actually been busting out even more steps. I won't show it to you, but I've got 20,000 steps the last couple of days. I've been doing more walks, but I've also been online a lot. So what needs work is I need to reduce my inputs. I need to let my brain cool off because what's happening now is I've got so many things that I'm doing at a high level, then my brain's just, it's going and going and going. So if you have a tough time falling asleep, which I didn't last night, but if you get up in the middle of the night kind of wired, oftentimes it's because you just have, you're just running a little bit too hard. The answer from my vantage point is cool off, train your recovery. For me, what's exciting is that I'll have a, probably a zero input day tomorrow. Today I'm gonna do some Philosopher's Notes TVs. I've already done three of them. So I can ship um, 11 of them to our film genius for post-production, etc. But then I'm going to have a zero input day. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to read. The fun thing with my job is my recovery 
is what I get paid to do. So I'm going to go no inputs, let my brain relax on one thing, and then we'll see. I've got a little bit of sleep debt to pay off because last week we had the issues with Eleanor, etc. But whatever, that's what I'm going to do. That's the plus one. I'm going to get to 11 Philosopher's Notes TVs, ship it, and then I'm going to get to deep, deep recovery. That's the quick look at that. Again, remembering dynamic equilibrium. There are no perfect human beings. You and I won't be the first. There's no such thing as static balance where you figure it out once and for all. That is a naive perspective. We're never going to be exonerated. Just keep on using the data, win or learn style, boom. Now, got up at four. It was one of those mornings where I'm like, I'm not going back to sleep. So I'm going to get up. And it's like 9.30 and I've already prepped for and filmed three Philosopher's Notes TVs in the new studio. So excited about it and excited to share. How to think, good morning, Rooster. How to think like a Roman emperor, Donald Robertson. Such a good, good guy. Um, stoic philosopher, practitioner, and cognitive behavioral therapist. I hear you too, Rooster, who's actually joined our visiting faculty as a luminary um, for the Optimized Coach program, which again starts in, shoot, when does that start? Less than a week. September 1st, day one, fired up. Again, nearly 2,000 optimizers from 70 plus countries. But anyway, I did the Philosopher's Notes TV on this. Really fun to go back and review that. Then I did... The Courage Quotient, The Science of Courage, Robert B. Zwa's Diener. He's also a, uh, happens to be a, a luminary, a guest faculty member of our Optimized Coach program. Super powerful stuff. Um, the Science of Getting Your Courage On. Basically, there's a quotient. Your willingness to act in the presence of fear and your ability to control fear. We'll walk through, we'll save that for the PNTV. Um, but that was fun. And then... William B. Irvine, this is one of my favorite Stoic books. These two are just so good. I went on a Stoic positive psychology, Stoic positive psychology binge. Um, so it's fun to go back through that as I do the PNTVs and, and review them, etc. William B. Irvine is another professor. He's a professor of philosophy and a Stoic practitioner. This book is fantastic. Um, and he's also a uh, visiting luminary guest faculty for the Optimized Coach program. And people absolutely love all of them, but I, I heard his session was particularly um, fun and awesome. So anyway, that's the deal. Time to go spend some time with the kids, restore, and come back at it. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. What are you going to do today to get a little bit better? Have fun with that. What's working? What needs work? What will you do a little differently? Let's spiral up. It's all data. Mistake learners, highs, dynamic tightrope walking all day, every day as we optimize and actualize in service to the world together. See ya.